Welcome back to PSC TechBytes. Today I want to talk with you about the capability to export reports and statistics about the services that we have in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem using the Microsoft Graph. In fact, there are API endpoints that we can use to export uh, statistics and reports about, for example, Microsoft Teams, uh, SharePoint Online, Exchange Online, Yammer, Skype for Business, and most of the services available in the Microsoft 365 offering. Whenever you export uh, a report, uh, you can, for example, for Teams, uh, export statistics about devices, usage, and users' usage in Microsoft Teams and you will get a CSV file as the result of the endpoint invocation. And in order to be able to do that, from a permission and security perspective, you will need to have for your consumer app the permissions to uh, do the reports.read.all. So let me move to the environment and let me show you how to play with these reporting API endpoints. So this is the entry point in the official documentation about the usage reports available in Microsoft Graph. And as you can see, for example, from a Teams perspective, we have a few actions related to the device usage reports, as well as some other actions about the user activity reports. And just for the sake of making an example, the get user detail report will give back to you a CSV file with this list of fields, which will include, for example, for every single user principal name, information about that principal name, if it is deleted or not, what are the assigned products, what is the number of um, team chat message count, private chat message count, and the number of calls, meetings, and stuff like that. And when you make a request, you can specify what is the target period for your request, and the period can be the seven days, the last 30 days, 90 or 180 days, or you can even specify a target date uh, if you like. Uh, uh, likewise, uh, you can do the get uh, uh, activity counts uh, uh, API report request, uh, and you will get back another CSV file with the same approach. So you provide the period, which can still be uh, 7, 30, 19, or 180 days, and you will get back another CSV file with these fields, uh, like for example, the date, uh, the number of chat messages, of private messages, of calls and meetings, regardless the uh, users involved. And just for the sake of completeness, let me move to Fiddler and let me show you few uh, method calls that I made uh, to these uh, uh, API endpoints. So for example, to get the user activity and user detail, you can just make a call for graphmice.com version 1.0 slash reports slash get team user activity user detail. And you provide the target period, which is 90 days in my example you will get back as a response a 302 found HTTP status, which will include a location which will redirect you to the actual CSV file, which you can download, providing in the URL, as you can see, an access token, which will last just for a few minutes. It should be a couple of minutes so that you will have just the time to download the file, which is, as you can see, a really simple CSV file, and then you will be done. And the same applies, for example, for the get team user activity counts. Again, you provide a period, you will get back the 302 and the location of the file of the real and actual CSV file. And then you can get back the file and you will get uh, on a daily basis all the numbers, all the stats about the activities executed by the users in your tenant. So this is really useful if you want to build uh, some Power BI dashboard and you want to feed those dashboards with dynamic data coming out uh, from the Microsoft Graph. As usual, thank you for watching this video and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.